you, you've got to meet this girl. Well, who is she? Just wait and see. She's amazing. She'll be at my party tonight. You should stop in. Really? Well, I'm looking forward to it. dressing room. Do you know who I am? Sorry, ma'am. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm E.D. Superstar. That was me, Miss New York, Girl of the Year. Millionaires, socialite, garbage. It really had a bad effect on me. Wherever I've been, I've been notorious, and quite innocently enough that I've never been anywhere where I hadn't been known. Many times I'd be out all day roaming around Manhattan, and then I'd come back. That's Paul America. I could just see him in some kind of strange vision. He took a lot of acid and he had this strange alienation from the human race. He used to deal large amounts of speed at the Hotel America. <laughs> I need to speak to the doctor immediately. You very well know who this is. This is Jane and it's an emergency. Jane Halzer, nicknamed Baby Jane, had been one of the factory's first recognized superstars. <laughs> well, seems we have a problem on our hands now. I just called Jane and she said that Edie just barged in on her high on those speed pills again. Freeze frame her. Isn't Edie a friend of Jane's? Come here. Don't you think you boys ought to <laughs> teach Jane a lesson? They are tears in my eye. I was baby Jane's replacement into that whole scene. And I didn't know I was replacing her. In fact, I never even heard of her. I hardly ever read the papers. I'm everybody's clown. I want somebody to help me now. Look, you're on candid camera. Hey, man, what's up? All of the superstars are here, like planets revolving around the sun. And who is that sun? Why, Andy Warhol, of course. At this party, Andy Warhol just lets his camera observe. The center of attention tonight? Factory superstar Edie Sedgwick, who left her society background in California to find herself in New York City. It started getting really scary at the factory. There were a lot of crazy people who were stoned out and on drugs. It freaked me out and, and I couldn't take it anymore. Edie arrived around this time and I was happy to put up with that sort of ambiance. Staring at the ceiling. Edie's very unhappy and very vulnerable. She really is the poor little rich girl. Chuck, are you going to wake up? I've been smoking by myself for a while now, and the phone's broken. You are called. Lester, but I forget why. Do you want some? Not yet. Hey, what time is it anyway? Around 9 or 8. Speed? <laughs> what speed? Bridget Berlin, a.k.a. Bridget Polk. Factory superstar, well known for her habit of giving out amphetamine injections. You want to hear something I wrote about the horrors of speed? Maybe you don't, but the nearly incommunicable torments of speed that 
high, yodeling echoes of an affinity so brutal that words cannot even capture the, the tone of such a vicious nightmare. Do you know who I am? I don't really dig it, but there it is. Now, one, two, three, and four. My name is Bridget Polk. P-O-L-K for Polk. And I am a star. You know what I think? I think that everyone should eat like a pig, and then they're up, because then you can never get fat. You eat a lot, and you, you never get fat. That's because I don't eat all the time. That's the difference. Okay, I'm almost ready. I act this way because that's the way I feel, I get. If people like it, fine. If they don't, that's their problem. He really messed up many people's lives, getting them hooked on drugs and speed including Bridget's and mine as well. Oh, hi, Edie. This is Ingrid, our new superstar. Doesn't she look just like you? Oh, yes. What do you think of this mannequin that looks just like you? Superstar. Too far gone? Yeah. I'm too fucked up. But I'm innocent. They think they can keep me locked up in here, but they can't because my soul is free. They don't even know what a soul is. Bad karma? I don't even believe in any of that bullshit. I've already had enough of that mind torture in the crazy house. And in the hospital, they locked me up and gave me brain shock treatment. They wiped out all my mind cells. I couldn't even remember my name. If you want to help me, then get me out of here. Get me out of here! That's Paul America. She doesn't look anything like me. Large amounts of speed at the no, hotel. She doesn't look anything like me. I need to does that ugly thing. Can you sign this for me? Yes, you can turn. And there we are, my fight, sir. Uh, about this. Uh, I can't because you. you know there are these uh, peculiar faculties of the psyche that it isn't entirely confined to space and time. You can have uh, dreams or visions of the future. You can see uh, round corners and such things. Only ignorance deny these these facts. I really don't know what Edie was. I don't know why she just couldn't pull herself together. But you want to know my theory on her? I think Edie thought of herself as a caterpillar that turned into a butterfly. She was just another kid from an unhappy family and childhood. When the spotlight were finally on her and she was being treated as something very special, she still felt like a pile of dirt. She didn't know how to handle it when the attention sort of faded again. This was part of the weakness in her personality. We all have to get used to the reality that we're alone, and she couldn't get used to that, so she went off mad. I heard you say... Andy, Edie suffocated. Well, how could that have happened? She, she didn't die of drugs. She suffocated in her sleep. Will her husband inherit all of her money? She, she doesn't have any money. Oh. Well, what have you been doing?
given a second chance in another life? I think we're given a whole new set of problems. I think we only have one thing to contend with. There's yourself and other people. Yeah, and that's all. I think you're from another planet. Actually, that'd be pretty nice. <laughs>